Sunlight has not hit the bottom in a billion years. Water below freezing point at one step and hot springs at another. Bone crushing pressure and a landscape often described as lunar like. Below about 11,000 meters of sea level exist an underwater world full of mystery and immense possibilities for scientists to research. This is the story of the world's deepest place, Mariana Trench. The depth of the Mariana Trench make it one of the deadliest places on the planet. Forever covered in darkness, water temperature is below 0 degrees Celsius, what makes it near impossible for life as no it to exist is the extreme water pressure. 8 tons per square inch increases with depth. Any air-filled crevice of the human body would collapse in the blink of an eye under this pressure. Lungs filled with air would collapse and bone would crush. Mariana Trench is the deepest location in earth crust. Interestingly, if you placed Mount Everest at the bottom of the Mariana Trench, the peak would still be 2133 meters below the sea level. The trench was formed after the collisions of two tectonic plates, the Pacific Plate and the Mariana Plate. One plate is forced under the other plate. With the older, denser oceanic crust sliding down into the mantle. It is for the first time on January 23rd, 1960, that a manned mission was sent to the unknown world at the bottom of the trench. A submersible named Trist, pilot by oceanographer Jack Pickard and Lieutenant John Walls of the US Navy, started the underwater world. Both of them witnessed life alien to the humans at that time. The biggest questions they had to find an answer for was whether there was any life in extremely harsh conditions like those. After a descent of 4 hours and 47 minutes when the submersible reached the bottom, Picard saw something outside. He called out to walls telling him that he had seen a fish. Within a few seconds after Walsh confirmed that it was indeed a flat fish, the slit below blocked their view and they could not take any pictures of what they had just witnessed. For years, marine biologists rejected the claim, saying it was impossible for a fish to exist under such high pressure. The questions whether life existed in darkness underneath over 11,000 meters was answered later in missions that followed. Still little is known about the life forms inhabiting that range but despite the lack of light, acidic and freezing conditions, more than 200 known microorganisms and small creatures including crustaceans and amphipods have been known to be living there. The organism discovered in the Mariana Trench including bacteria, crustaceans, sea cucumbers, octopus and fishes. In 2014, the deepest living fish, Mariana snailfish, was discovered near Guam. The question goes back to what the Mariana biologist had at the Picard Walls encountered. How it is possible for fish to exist in such high pressure conditions and how does it survive in freezing temperature without sunlight. It is tough that the pressure is too much for calcium to exist. That would make the bones of vertebrates to dissolve but the Mariana fishes have made a remarkable adaptation. Fish living closer to the surface of the ocean may, may have a swim bladder filled with air. This helps them float up or sink down in the water. The deep sea fish have abandoned these air sacs so they don't get crushed. There are many more adaptations observed in underwater life. 
body is made more of cartilage than bones skulls with spaces and even genetic evolutions for movement and processes to take place under high pressures it is essential for proteins to be able to change shape with stability the gene that makes the substance essential trimethylamine oxide needed for this has not one but five copies in the mariana snail fish they even have membranes containing fats like vegetable oil to prevent solidifications at freezing temperatures the deep sea fauna has also found alternatives to sunlight as a source of energy and light some have developed much sharper visions while some have abandoned the need of vision as they rely on touch and vibration the bioluminescence organism produce life themselves to attract mates or startle prey the compensate for absence of photosynthetics they rely on chemosynthetics carried out by the bacteria which turns ionic substances into organic fish carcasses and even the wood sinking down become reliable food sources unfolding the mystery of the dark ocean might not only uncover more efficient drugs food and energy resources but also help prevent disastrous climates like deadly tsunamis and earthquakes by timely detections the biggest puzzle that could be solved by looking deep is the changing environment of the earth life existing in extreme conditions such as high pressures freezing temperatures and absolute darkness can help man know about evolutions that leads to life as we know it researchers have found microbes which could be potential sources of antibiotic and anti cancer drugs the most heartbreaking thing that humanity has done to the mother earth it is tainting the pristine landscape with its contaminated footsteps according to a research published in nature ecology and evolutions pollution level in the mariana trench was more than the heavily industrialized regions nearby it suggests that pollution from anthropogenic sources has increased due to bioaccumulations and thus has been observed in the deepest trench of the planet plastic cans disposable utensils and bags have been found at the bottom of the trench more wearing were the result of a research published in the British Royal Society journal which claimed to have found microplastics in the amphipods microplastics is a part of our system from plastic bottles to the synthetic cloths that we wear mostly it reaches from industrial regions of asian countries like china and japan due to earthquakes at the bottom of the trench the sediments reach the deepest regions microplastics have been shown to harm sea life which is already being damaged by overfishing and climate change the fact that we found such extraordinary levels of this pollutant really brings home the long term devastating impact that mankind is having on the planet a more recent research by the university of michigan found that the sinking carcasses fish from near surface waters deliver toxic mercury pollution to the trench discovery of this neurotoxins indicates a dangerous trend 11000 meter under water is long distance for the toxin to travel according to the research coal fired power plants cement factories mine and other operations sewage toxins into the atmosphere this mercury eventually reaches the sea in rain dust and runoff from rivers and asteroids what follows is way more precarious microbes convert this mercury into a particularly toxic form called methyl mercury builds up the fish 
this toxin can harm the nervous immune and digestive system of people and wildlife that eat the contaminated seafood in the year 2012 acclaimed hollywood filmmaker james cameron crammed inside a submersible for a record solo descent to 10989 meters he became the third person to achieve this feat after picard and wells the majority of the mariana trench is now us protected zone as part of the mariana trench marine national monument while it is difficult for most private citizen to travel more than 100 feet below the surface of the ocean vehicles called human occupied vehicles may be used that carry scientists to the deep sea